we all recognize as an industry, Houston was advanced in terms of uh, edutronic camera usage. We didn't have edutronic cameras in place like Houston did uh, and the Repsoto machines and stuff like that. And then how to unlock the ability to use those technologies. So as Verlander parachutes in there from t- uh, from Detroit and as um, you know Cole parachutes in there from Pittsburgh in a trade in both cases those guys game got upped by the benefits of the knowledge capture that they are ahead of the industry on. right first of all those are some big words are they real words or are they Sean trying to say real words edutronic yeah I don't know what did the soda machines have to do with it I think it was Rip Soda. Right. Rip Sodic. I don't even know what he no, said. No, I think he meant like the vending machine. He you did think his. so? You think he was talking about that the Astros had advanced soda machines? Like when you go to a new Wendy's. Oh, like cameras in them looking at everybody. When you go to the new Wendy's and you can choose all the different Coke options and you can mix all the Which different Coke Which is a great op- thing, by the way. It's an amazing thing. I mean, we- five years ago, cold guys. Can we play? <laughs> well, the Astros had that. The Yankees didn't have that right. soda machine. Uh, right. And the Repsoto machines and stuff like that. And then how- he's saying soda machine. You think Rep- he's saying so- soda? If he's not, uh, then what the is Rep-Soto he saying? Repsoto machines and stuff like that. And then how- okay, just just think out loud. The, what I- do you think he's saying about a soda machine helping the Astros? Well, they were be banging good. on garbage cans. So mm-hmm. I, I mean, isn't anything fair game with the Astros what they're using? Okay. Oh, valid point. So you think that maybe they were banging on a soda machine, and that's what gave Verlander and Garrett Cole a boost? Or, like, maybe using the soda machines in, like, the proposing locker rooms <laughs> to spy on them? So you're convinced that Brian Cashman's talking about the advantage technologically that the Astros had with their soda machines. Look, to be honest, it was 5.05 when I listened to this clip and I put it in there. And my first thought was they did something with soda machines, and I wanted you to hear it. Uh, and the rip soda machines and, and stuff like that. And, and clearly this is blowing my face because my I was I thought for sure you were going to be like, wow, what were they doing with soda machines? And apparently I'm the only idiot that heard soda machines. Yes. Rip, rip soda machines. Do it's you act- know what that is? It's, some it's like t- a Johnson rod? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like some type of this edumatronic, as Brian Cashman said. I got it. Okay, what is it's it? It's Rapsodo, R-A-P-S-O-D-O. It's a company. It's like a motion capture system where you use to tweak into perfection your motion. Whether it's pitching, you can use it for a batter for your stance. Golfers use it. Uh, but it's Rapsodo, R-A-P-S-O-D-O. It's a company. So, I mean, he gives that interview on radio. Who knows what that is? You can't just drop that in. I would agree with that. But I would also say that's embarrassing for Brian Cashman to admit. Because, number one, it's excuse making. It's, oh, they had all the technology we didn't have. Oh, well, that's why Verlander was good. That's why Garrett Cole was good. It's because they had all this technology that we didn't have. Number one, it's excuse making. Number two, you're the freaking Yankees. You should have the best stuff. If the Astros are beating you to a machine that motion captures pitchers, why don't you have it? The Yankees should have the best scientists like Bryson DeChambeau. They should have the best technological advancements. They should have the best computer engineers. They're the freaking Yankees. You're in New York City. You should have the best of everything. And here's Cashman. Well, I mean, they had the Johnson rods and they had the dip sticks. The soda machines. They had the big soda machines. They had all that stuff. I mean, they had the edumatronic things. You know, you got Brian Cashman saying, well, I mean, the Astros had all this stuff that we could never have. And Dave Gettleman saying, yeah, we, we hired a bunch of computer guys. Like, this is New York. You should have the best computer guys. The scientists. I wonder if Schwartz would want to go work for the Astros knowing they have the best soda machines. The rip soda machines. <laughs> <laughs> Banging on rip soda machines. <laughs> the rip soda machines. <laughs> and Making those <laughs> orange cokes half orange, I, half cherry. I feel like the, the big soda machine would be a good nickname for Schwartz if he was an <laughs> athlete. <laughs> That's great. We should start calling Schwartz the big soda machine. The rip soda machines. And <laughs> My baby daddy, Peter Schwartz. The rip soda machines. And Banging on rip soda machines. The rip soda machines. <laughs> Birdlander has an advantage. Drumming on a street light. <laughs>
<laughs> Banging on soda cans. <laughs> the Repsoto machine. <laughs> <laughs>